Greetings, this is Gynthian, and today we are playing on the Kingdom Chronicles server. This is my kingdom, my main base, and one new addition that you see right behind me is a beacon. Mir was so kind to give me the star thingy that I need to make a beacon and it works nicely. I can now dig out the area in my kingdom as big as I want and it is so much faster. Excuse me, villager. So looks like the sun is setting so I want to find a bed and go to sleep. And then I can take you down and show you some of the work I've been doing. These are boxes that I borrowed from Mir. And I've got some more. I've got to return most of these to him. But I will be back in a moment with more explanation. There's a good view of the beacon. And I don't remember if I've showed you this before, but when you have haste two from the beacon, and you also have a efficiency five pick, the response is amazing. I mean, it's almost an instamine kind of thing. Then just going up, you can get this going. See, it got almost all of them. And look at all the... Look at all the... Stuff I got mined in one fell swoop. Now I'll just go along to pick up these one or two... To pick up these missing blocks. And then, you know, we can go along and... Pick up all these and our inventory is already full. Just got a lot of junk in my inventory. Can't imagine why. Just do. can run over here and I am collecting the stone the cobblestone in here and you get the idea Greetings, this is Gynthian, and I am on the Kingdom Chronicles server, and I got a message from Roscoe to come to spawn, and we were going to work on a tunnel from here. There's my spawn house, the big tower. And we're in and amongst the houses that Roscoe built. And we decided to move down, oops, move down here and work on a tunnel from here down into the lower section of 
the uh, spawn area that I actually started on last episode or so. And we got, we built all this together. Wanted it to be cave-like. And it comes down here and just opens up down in this area. Which we can look back up. Uh, my biggest concern at the moment is how many mobs we are going to let in through this process. But this is what we worked on building. And connects the upper area with this area down here which also connects to the back of my base as well as the staircase from the community mine which is somewhere around here but that's what we that was one of the things we worked on I'm not sure if this is finished, per se. Roscoe may have some more work to do on it. I'm not sure. Anyway. Let me get back to what I was working on before Roscoe reached out to me. It's time to head home. Luckily, I have my horse here at spawn in the nether, so I can just head home. Don't know why I did that. And we're off. I will see you when we get home. I am back at my base, and I have this floor that I want to lower down one level, so I'm going to continue to do that and get back to you with an update in a little bit. <laughs> Greetings, I am in the end, and I'm going here to re-mend my tools. One of the things that I'm not sure everyone realizes, or at least the other, some of the other players on this server, is that I designed this so that you could go down and then drop. And the water would protect you. Then you have a long walk. But I'm here to mend my tools, and we'll do that and be right back. Greetings. One of the other things I wanted to do while I was here is I wanted to leave a, let's see if I can get this right. Fix this. And what I want to do is I wanted to leave a grindstone so that this was an option along with the enchanting table. So now you can enchant something and if you really don't like it you can take the enchantment back off. One tip for repairing your items at a experience farm is take the time to take off your armor before you put the item in question into your shield hand. And that will allow you to actually mend the item significantly faster. Even if your armor is completely repaired, it still seems to make the repair of the tool take longer. Not really sure why. But I'm going to go, go ahead and make this repair and I'll be right back.
one of the other things I wanted to do while I was here. I've repaired all my tools. And one of the things I wanted to do was combine these two items. Because this will give me a second fortune efficiency five pick. And so I'm going to go ahead and combine those right here. This is just efficiency four. And then I can call this doesn't have mending. Good catch. So this was such a good idea. I'm going to take one of these mending books and I need this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because it's just too convenient. that and then we can go over here and we can take this and we can add mending to it and now I have two pickaxes that I can use that's the silk touch two of these fortune pickaxes now it's Back to the base. I will see you in a few minutes. Just have to head on back and we'll be good. See you in a minute. Here we are standing over at the portal. This one leads to mirror space and one of the things I just did was I didn't like the fact that I could step off into the lava. So I added this cobblestone barrier so that you can't do that. Now if we go through the portal, you do not end up where I thought you would. Okay, you're on the island, but this is a new portal. Very cool. You made a new portal. A really, really big one. That's really kind of cool. This is the mountain range he was talking about that he had added on. Okay, I have a surprise for Mir, and I'm going to add it right here. These that I borrowed. They are empty. I wish I had a bed. It's well lit though. So now I'm going to Put this down. Actually, I think I can make another some more signs. Maybe not. Why? Because. 
because I have to have a one of these. So I'll put that there. Then I can make more signs. Um, thanks. For letting letting me borrow them. Kinkin. And now over here, I'm going to give him a surprise. Now, I was looking. Okay. Now I can. Still going to not exactly fit because I want to cover this up. Corners, that way I won't mess up his torches. And then I can do this. Okay. It's gift wrapped in cobble. So now let me leave some signs. Um, this is a surprise gift wrapped in cop cop. here and I'll talk to you later <laughs> I'm back I forgot to sign I didn't put my name on this part so let me add another sign there we go do it. So I'm going to let Mir know and we should be able to see his response to finding this. Of course, as soon as he digs through this, he'll find all the gold sh shulker boxes full of cobble because he's got a lot of this that he still has to fill in. So, this took way longer to fill those than I expected, but I'm going to, I like, love this. Anyway, I will see you back at the base. Greetings, I'm back at my base, and these right here are the five shulker boxes that I kept. That was the number 
that Mir said I could take, but then I snatched a whole stack of shulker, sh shulker shells I made, which made 32 of these boxes. And then, of course, I used the rest of them, minus, or most of the rest of them, to uh, make the gift for Mir. And these are filled with ender pearls. So I have a supply of those handy at the base. But that's all I have time for this episode. So I think I will call it. See you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>